Hello everyone, welcome again in a new video. If you're new to the channel, I'm Mehdi, I'm a third year in the School of Farm Iraq, and in this channel, I do stuff about productivity and uh, neuroscience, how to be more productive student. Well, guys, as you read in this video titled that what is the perfect diet of foods that will enhance our memory and that will decrease our cognitive decline and boost our productivity. Well, guys, before I start, actually, um, I'm going to make you clear about two facts. Fact one, there is no single drug, no single medication that will boost your productivity from zero to 100%. There is fact sorry fact two there is no single food that will post your productivity and will decrease your cognitive decline from zero to hundred percent. There is no reality about this. Well, what's real and what science uh, referred to is consuming some foods and uh, a on a regular basis, and we will see a good result on leg term. Okay. So starting with the first uh, food, that is uh, green uh, uh, leafy vegetables. Well, green leafy vegetables, this plant source is great for uh, um, important enzymes and important vitamins as well, like vitamin, sorry, like vitamin K, lutein, beta carotene, and the research and the science, um, the font, sorry, the researchers found that consuming these foods will improve our uh, cognitive health, will decrease the cognitive decline as well. Well, guys, food number two is a fatty fish. Why fatty fish? Fatty fish is a great resource for omega-3 and omega-6 as well. And omega-3 uh, omega is considered as a, uh, a healthy polyunsaturated type of fat. And that's great for our uh, arteries for our heart and for our brain as well and if you are not a fan of uh, fish you can ask your doctor for a supplement and you can also use an order native resources for omega-3 like uh, flaxseed avocados like walnuts it's also work uh, very good um, food number three which is berries on um, research done in a pragman uh, uh, Harvard Bregman, sorry, and uh, Women Hospital, they found that women who consume uh, blueberries, strawberries, uh, they um, decreased their de uh, cognitive decline by up to two years and a half, and that's a great amount of time. So strawberries and uh, blueberries, they have a natural pigment, and um, the scientists found that this pigment have a great element inside of them, and uh, consuming this uh, type of food also will improve our memory and make us have a good, uh, strong memory. Well, food number three, actually it's not food, it's uh, beverage uh, like tea and coffee. Well, you will say that is tea and coffee is good for our memory? Well, it's good and it's not good. Um, it's good when we consume it on a regular basis when we consume it in a few amount, and if we consume it like randomly with no schedule, with no like a regular basis, we just randomly consume tea and coffee, that will make the uh, make, make the situation much worse than much better. On research done by John Hawkins, they made a test uh, for the students on identifying the uh, images, um, and they found people who consume tea and coffee. Uh, later on, the next day, they identify the images much quicker than the other people and the other student. So the point here is caffeine in coffee and uh, tea, it's good. But when we use it on a regular basis, like for me, I like to consume tea. Maybe you like to consume coffee. But the point is to consume it on a regular basis. Well, food number five, which is the last but not least, there are a lot of things, there are a lot of foods, but I choose the major families of this food. <clears throat> well, it is walnuts. Why walnuts? Walnuts is um, great resources for omega-3 especially, okay, and uh, healthy fat as well. And uh, on a research done by USLA, 
um, they found that students who consume a walnut, they have a higher scores than those who don't consume these foods. And omega-3 is great for our arteries and uh, people who consume all walnuts, uh, and they are a great resource for omega-3, they have a cleaner arteries, they have a good heart, and if we go, if we, sorry, if we have a good heart, if we have a good arteries, then we will have a good brain. Because you know, our brain is dependent um, entirely on two major things, is glucose and oxygen. And if we give him a great source of oxygen by great arteries and a great uh, pumping of blood, so of course we will enhance our memory, we will pause our focus, and we will pause our ability to memorize the things. Well guys, this was just a simple video based on research from different universities and research. Uh, what is the perfect diet? What is the perfect food to uh, enhance our memory and to decrease our cognitive decline? I hope that you find this video helpful. And if you do, go and check out the other videos. Maybe you will find them interesting. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Goodbye.